This is the first in a series of short videos to review the steps of the writing process. In this first video, we'll talk about brainstorming. Other steps in the writing process include outlining, drafting, and revising and editing. You'll find videos on each of these steps elsewhere in the class. For any assignment, always start by reviewing the instructions carefully. If you cannot answer each of these questions clearly, contact your instructor right away to make sure you understand what is being asked of you. These videos are going to focus on the essay for the class. So start out by focusing on one of the two assigned topics. You'll have a choice of comparing or contrasting a set of characters from the readings that you've completed, or you can watch and analyze a film. No matter which topic you choose, it's a good idea to write it down and keep it handy while you are brainstorming. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the compare and contrast option. There is no right or wrong way to record your ideas. Some people like to use a whiteboard. Others like to use traditional pen and paper. Others like to write their ideas down on sticky notes or index cards. Still others prefer to use a computer or a smartphone. There are many ways to brainstorm. Here are just a few. Close reading, listing or bulleting, free writing, mind mapping or clustering, and five W's and an H. As you are generating and recording ideas, keep in mind one of the most important rules of brainstorming. There are no good or bad ideas. A good approach, especially for literature, is to do what's known as a close reading. The first step is to read and reread the text making notes as you go along. Focus on a precise, literal interpretation of the text. Look up vocabulary words that you are not familiar with and write them down. If you own your textbook, you can write your notes right in the margins. Underline words that you don't know. Write the definitions next to them. Pay attention to the writer's diction or word choice. Why does the writer use a specific word? For example, why would someone use jog instead of sprint? There's a difference between those two words. And again, write those down. Make notes right in the margin of your textbook. If you don't own your textbook, make notes on a piece of paper. Try to identify ideas and themes as you go along. If you are focusing on a short section of text, you might think about what that particular section reveals to you. You might think about what it tells you about a character, literally, meaning the exact words that the writer produces, or you can think about other things that you can infer from the text. What does the text tell you about a person's thoughts? about their motivations. If you are looking at a poem, play, pay close attention to the structure. Identify the rhyme scheme, if there is one, and other elements such as alliteration. In the listing or bulleting methods of brainstorming, you simply write down your ideas into a list. If you are comparing or contrasting a pair of characters, you might choose to make two lists, one for each character. If you already know the three characteristics that you want to compare or contrast, you might have three lists. There is no right or wrong way to approach making a list, so whatever makes sense to you is the right way to use this technique. In free writing, the idea is to simply let your thoughts flow freely and write them down. Don't stop writing. It can be very helpful to set a limit, either by time or by space. Some people, again, like to use a traditional way of writing things out longhand. 
some people prefer to type. You might apply this idea in several different ways too. You can either just write everything all together. You can do different free writing exercises. You can free write about one character. You can free write about the other character. Whatever makes sense to you. In the mapping or clustering method, you start by putting the main idea in the middle in a cloud. If you are comparing or contrasting, you might decide to use two different mind maps, two different clusters, one for each character. Or you can do a mind map related to each characteristic that you think you might want to compare or contrast. In the five W's and one H method, you focus on answering these six questions. Again, you can combine it with another method of brainstorming, whatever makes sense to you. It's important to remember that there is no wrong way to brainstorm. And depending on what your end goal is, you might use one approach for another project. You might easily use a different approach. There are no good or bad ideas. When you brainstorm, you typically start the writing process by brainstorming. You get all those ideas out. However, you can always come back to the brainstorming process if you need to generate some more ideas. Brainstorming can be done at any point in the writing process. Happy brainstorming!